We have cunning in the reverse. Ooh. We have heal in the reverse. We have grow in the reverse. And we have love in the upright for my beautiful collective. Those light workers, the divine femmes, the divine masculines. <clears throat> Remember, this could be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collective read, not a personal read. Not every message is for every person. If you'd like a personal read, the details are in the description box for my channel. So with the rebirth, inspire. So someone thought that they were being cunning. And I really wish these karmics would go heal. Someone just refuses to heal. They refuse to grow. They, re they refuse to see the light. <clears throat> they're upset because they're not inspiring people. They didn't go through a rebirth. Maybe um, this person thought they were going to go through a rebirth, but you can't go through a rebirth if you're doing karmic shit to people. So, I mean, I, you can't, you're not a divine being. You're not a light worker. You can't be considered a divine femme or masculine if you're doing cunning things, if you're doing underhanded manipulative tactics to people. Um, if you refuse to heal or grow, you can't be seen as a divine feminine or masculine. You have to do everything with love. This is the king or queen of cups in the upright. And this person is coming up. Um, the energy is like the king or queen of cups in the reverse. Someone who is jealous and envious of a true light worker. <clears throat> Somebody who wishes they could be um, a light worker, but they, they refuse to heal. This is just sad. I'm just... I'm sad for these karmics. They don't have intuition. Intuition's in the reverse. Give it time in the reverse. Um, they refuse to take the time to do the healing, to do the shadow work. That's why they don't have intuition. They don't use their intuition. So it's like, you know, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. They thought they could get something done with enough time. There's a narcissist here that either treats you like a pet or they're trying to take your pet. Or do something to your pet. Um, I'm strongly getting that there's a narcissist here that treats you as if you're like a pet. Um, that you're just sitting around waiting for them whenever they're done doing whatever they're doing. Um, they're very full of themselves. Um, and it's funny because if they're treating you like a pet... Um, it says giving a current pet more love. It's like, okay, well, even if he, <laughs> it's funny because that's come out before and I saw someone in the comments say, uh, I'll be their pet. I'll be their pet. I'm just, <laughs> well, if you want to be their pet, you go right ahead. Um, you know, I can't tell you what to do, but if that's the case, they need to show you some more love because, um, you could be feeling alone or neglected if, by this narcissist, uh, because they're not showing you the love that you deserve. This person just refuses to grow. Someone's getting burnt with the mittens and gloves here. Um, they're trying to stir up some trouble for you. Yeah, and this is just somewhat... I'm just getting strong jealousy. Someone is just so jealous of your abilities. Your psychic gifts, your talents. This is somebody that you gave marching orders to. So somebody that you could have walked away from or ghosted. Maybe because they're a narcissist. Or this narcissist ghosted you. And they thought that you'd be sitting there loyally waiting for them whenever they returned. And that's not the case. Unfortunately, for most people, they don't sit around waiting to be someone's pet. <clears throat> Someone can't cook. Chef in the reverse. So someone may miss your cooking. Um, some maybe you're a chef. You could you could have gifts, talents. Um, you could be a true artist. Like you could be. I'm picking up that someone is like a chef to where I've seen it on like Master Chef and stuff. You know those chefs that do like that cool stuff with like the smoke and like um, they make these pretty like crazy exotic like scientific creations like with your cooking or something. I'm strongly getting something like that. Like you could be a real artist as far as mastery um like with with cooking and it's not just the cooking it's the presentation of whatever you're doing so even if you're not a chef whatever you're doing it's about your presentation it's about how you present something how you handle yourself how, to, how you conduct yourself your confidence in your abilities this is bothering somebody the fact that you had the ability to grow that you healed from your childhood wounds somebody a narcissist was trying to use someone's childhood wounds against them. 
but you've planted good seeds. Um, you're being divinely guided. You've planted good seeds. You do things from a heart space of love. That's why things are coming back to you tenfold in a very good way. Those seeds are going to be growing. There's a feminine energy here who's very jealous of you, very envious of you. This could even be your own family members that are jealous of you. This could even be your own mother. I mean, it sucks, but it's the truth. And I hate that that keeps coming out, but it's the truth. Someone is trying to gauge your temperature by throwing some shit your way to see if you'll take the bait. So there's a jealous, like, copycat. <laughs> it's funny because there's a feminine cat there, and I look at that as feminine energy. There's someone trying to throw some bullshit your way to gauge your temperature to see how intuitive you are. To see if you'll pick up on their shit. Um, they're trying to hurt you in some way or being an irritant, trying to affect your energy. This person wants to use you for your information so that they can copy you and discard you. When I see the floss, um, I look at that as something that is discarded and being thrown away. You know, you use it, you clean your teeth. Maybe this person doesn't have their pearly whites. Maybe they need to brush their teeth or use some mouthwash or something. Someone, um, oh, it's funny, curling your hair is on there. I did put a little mousse in my hair today. <laughs> Someone's trying to come around. Um, I'm getting like boomerang, even though it's a hula hoop, I'm getting like a boomerang energy. <laughs> it's like someone's trying to keep you stuck on a loop, a cycle. <clears throat> Someone is not in shape. Someone someone can't lift the heavy weight. It's like the heavy burdens. I'm getting like uh, the Ten of Wands energy. Somebody that tried to heavily burden you, but they're not capable of handling those heavy, those heavy burdens that they placed on you. They wanted you to be a doormat. They wanted you to be hungry, starving. It's like this person is just so... It's sad. It's, it's sad. You have your guard up towards people. You're drinking your water. Um, you have your guard up. You're not letting many people through with threading a needle here. Your guard is up and you're very cautious about who you're letting into your energy at this time because you are, you feel the need to protect your energy. And I'm going, I'm going to just confirm you. Yeah, you do. You need to protect your energy right now, especially at this time, because these karmics are in overdrive. They can't come towards you. They could be trying to affect your bathing, um, with bathing, swim cap, and waking up. So they're trying to affect your sleeping patterns, your hygiene. Um, they're just doing the most. Someone is a rat. They're trying to bait you with a cupcake. So they're trying to tempt you with something sweet. It's like they're trying to affect you in a negative way and then try to swoop in and bait you. It's like if they throw enough rocks and then distract you, then maybe you won't see their attacks coming. They're trying to clean up something and sweep something under the rug. They're looking like a horse's ass. Um, I'm sorry, but their balloon's going to be bursted. They're trying to pop your balloon, popping a balloon, but that's what is happening to them because they can't rain on your parade. They can't stop your celebration. This person tried to play you like a piano. Um, they're trying to make you swim upstream. So, you know, that like canoe and the paddling, like swimming up creeks, up shit's creek without a paddle kind of thing that's what someone's trying to do they're like throwing a lot of shit in your creek they're trying to make you go against the current someone is going to come in spreading on something really thick spreading something like butter they're using um illusions with the magician so someone's going to come into your energy someone's trying to be slick someone thinks that you're not going to see that they're wearing a mask this is someone who could be um using fake profiles or um or a fake persona like this is catfishing someone's trying to catfish you to get in your energy and get you to reveal your secrets how you cleanse your energy and i heard a reader the other day and i mean i i'm going to support everything that this person said when it comes to your energy don't be online i know you guys like to share a lot of stuff in the comments and i appreciate that be careful what you share about how you cleanse your energy there are people who are going to attack you um, by how you cleanse your energy. So be careful of that. And someone in the same reader even mentioned um, if you sell products, and I don't sell products, but if you do sell products, um, I'm just reiterating this information and, you know, um, and I agreed with this. Um, so if you make products or sell products, whatever you use personally, don't let people know that's what you use personally and don't sell what you use personally. 
there's something specific about that that someone's trying to use against you and i'm picking that up here in this energy that's the kind of energy i'm getting is somebody that is trying to find out your secrets so that they can do spell work to counteract whatever you're doing so just please be careful about what you share about how you protect your energy how you protect yourself um you know if you're a medium or something like that there could be people trying to figure out how you do this how you do that how you connect with spirits how you communicate with spirits um this could also be someone who's trying to make you look or sound crazy so be careful just be careful about the information you're sharing i know we all want to help the collective and better themselves but people need to heal themselves and do some of the work for themselves because what works for somebody is not going to work for everybody somebody is admiring you i want to plant you and grow a field of you all so somebody sees you as a one-of-a-kind thing <clears throat> even if you do something just like everybody else like uh, once again i'm going to use myself as an example you know how many tarot card readers there are out there so many not all of them are authentic but there's a lot of good ones out there and i have some of them that watch me and i watch other readers we're part of a soul tribe we're part of that collective we're all tapped in we're exposing things that need to be exposed and we're helping each other by spreading the information, the love and the light. And that is what I love about this. It doesn't matter who turned their backs on you, who made you feel bad, who's trying to take you off of your path. You have people here that really care about you, but also don't be offended if people like I understand that there are people who genuinely want to connect with other people, other readers. And I've received emails and I feel bad because I have, my energy is so cut off right now that I'm very, very selective about what I share. And I'm very, um, you know, private at this moment. So please don't be offended if you reach out to me and I don't respond like in depth. You know, I appreciate your stories. I appreciate your stuff. I appreciate you and I love you all. Um, but just be careful about what you share with certain people or the, um, you know, the comments that you put um, there are people watching the comments and watching you, or if you have a channel or platform, they're watching to steal your secrets so they can copy, imitate you, steal your energy, and then turn around and do spell work against you because they're jealous of you and your talents. And I know not everyone's out to get you, and I'm, and I'm not paranoid. That's not even what this is about. If you know what I'm saying to be true, then you know because you know how pro protecting your energy is so important especially if you're intuitive and you're empathic you have to protect your energy someone is trying to infiltrate that so much and that is the energy i'm picking up here somebody who is jealous of you to the point they are willing to they're desperate they're willing to go to any lengths to try to destroy you why can't you trust an atom because they make up everything i'm telling you someone's trying to make something up to copy you because you are the real deal you actually are tapped in there are some people who don't want to believe these gifts don't exist because they don't really have them but they still want to copy and imitate them what? and they're trying to figure out how you do something so they can hurt you a thing of beauty is a joy that lasts forever people don't these karmic energies that are doing this they don't want anyone to see you as beautiful they don't want you to shine your light because then they can't get away with faking and frauding and manipulating people strike while the iron is hot so somebody did something they thought it was the right time which of course everything is in divine timing so whatever they try to do it's going to work out for your benefit or for your you know for your good for the greater good um i know we all don't like to go through those hard times those trials and tribulations but they're meant to teach us a lesson sometimes it's meant to teach the karmics their lesson sometimes you are the karma Somebody call the cops. It's illegal to look that good. Yo, <laughs> I'm just saying, just saying. Someone is looking really good. The past is knocking. So someone from your past is going to show up. It could be because they're trying to cover up something illegal, but they also see you looking good, smelling good, being good, feeling good. Um, you know, you're being healthy, you're loving on yourself, and your beauty is radiating from the inside out. And these karmics are so nasty. You know what comes from the inside shows itself on the outside. So these karmics have like a foul stench to them. And if you know what I, if I'm, t I hope you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so if you have certain spiritual gifts, you pick up on certain scents. You know, everybody has different spiritual gifts. Not everyone has the same gift, but 
some of you can pick up on like the smells it's like you can smell someone's soul like you know the the eyes are the window to the soul but sometimes people's stench gives them away before you even have to look into their eyes these karmics can can shower every day they can cleanse their goody bits, their their unmentionable parts every single day and still have that foul stench of karmic nasty stench because it's what's on the inside that's coming out. I'm telling you, and I, I'm not telling you not to go without, I'm not telling you to not shower for a week, but you could go a week without showering, even two weeks, and still not come close to smelling as bad as these people. Because you do everything with love in your heart, love and light. I'm not advising that. And I sure as hell am not saying that I do that. I'm saying keep up on your hygiene and shit. Take your spiritual baths. Do, do you, boo. But um, someone is seeing you and it's like they're they're admiring you and they're seeing you looking good, taking care of yourself. With all the restrictions that you have placed on you. But they're wanting to come back and plant more restrictions on you because they see people admiring you. They see that you're one of a kind. Even if you do something like everyone else, you could read cards and there are other card readers. But it's like everyone has a different gift or ability or even the way they read the cards. As readers, you give another piece to the missing puzzle. Okay, all of this is one big picture and each reader is is given a gift it's like we're all part of this soul tribe it's like a team of people working together to expose the truth about things and each person is given certain gifts certain talents to reveal some sort of truth and all together as a collective we put all these pieces together i'm telling you there's a massive awakening the email i just received about armageddon from one of um the collective here. I appreciate you. Um, and you were speaking about the end times and stuff. And I wish I could have gone into more detail with you about things. I'm just being very protective of my energy, but you, you, the, and if you're listening, you know who you are, but you nailed it. It's like, there's a mass awakening happening. There's things going on that people don't want to admit or see as the truth. And people will think you're crazy for exposing the truth. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. These karmics are throwing rocks, hiding hands, but it's, it's like they have red all over their hands. You know, those dye packs that they put in like cash when you like rob a bank or something. And then the dye pack explodes and gets all over their hands. It's like they're covered in their own stench in the dye. They can't wash it off. You know, when you shoot, when you shoot a gun or something, you have that gunpowder residue. Like when there's a crime committed, they can test for that. Even if you wash your hands, they can still pick up on the residue and stuff. <clears throat> I'm always rich when I go to the dollar store. These people, this karmic energy, these karmics, and I say these people, and it doesn't even have to be a group. It's just, as a collective, there are multiple karmics doing this to multiple light workers. There's a mass awakening going on. You're going to be tested. These people are going to keep testing you. We are in spiritual warfare, you know, and I, I look at this as like my church. I mean, I don't go to a regular church anymore even though i grew up in church but that doesn't mean i stopped believing and people look at tarot card readers or people with spiritual gifts or people on the spiritual path as demonic and we're not we're part of that chosen i keep seeing that 144,000. are you a part of that a lot of christians a lot of religious people claim to be part of that but those so those same people will be the ones to condemn condemn you to hell based on opinions and not facts and those same people don't have the spiritual gifts to back up the bullshit they're saying bless your heart someone is going to be really blessed tomorrow's a second chance someone's about to get a second chance in life and love someone is about to get blessed abundantly and you're not going to see this coming this is going to be a huge beautiful blessing for you and you know what i love you uh, congratulations you know Everything happens in divine timing. And, you know, people are so busy being jealous of each other that they can't congratulate someone when they get their accolades because they're so busy thinking about, well, when am I getting mine? When am I getting my justice? When you're meant to get it, don't turn karmic in the meantime. Please just remain in that state of love. Um, you know, we're all being spiritually attacked and tested, and you need to remain in that spirit of love and light. And, yeah, people are going to push your buttons, but... That's just part of the journey, I think. 
You could be worried about your financial stability. When am I getting my justice? When am I going to get what I have coming to me? When is this all going to be over? In the right time. In the right time. Everyone is not going to have this all at, all at once happening all at once. But it's building up. It's happening. One person can get this today. Another person can get it tomorrow. That's why these readings are timeless. That's why a lot of readers readings are timeless past present or future because they are timeless whenever you're meant to see it is when you're meant to see it and something may not happen until a year later but you're still it's still going to happen for you when it's meant to someone is stuck in their hangman energy so someone feels stuck someone feels like there's a barrier placed in their path they feel like they can't make finances or they're worried about their finances you need to get out of that mindset i'm i'm asking you Get out of that mindset because you're going to be in your King of Pentacles energy. You're going to you're going to from the four to the king. But it's going to happen when it's meant to happen. If you stay on your path and stay in love and light. Um, the spiritual warfare thing is real. People are trying to get you out of your seat, knock you out of your seat. There are people that's hiding secrets. The jealous queen of cups, I told you. The jealous queen of cups, <clears throat> someone who's codependent, is keeping secrets that they're trying to be like you, that they're throwing their rocks, they're hiding their hands. You're going to be blessed no matter what if you stay in that love and light um, energy. Keep your energy. Ooh, I'm hearing a very high-pitched tone. Someone could be using sound frequencies to try to throw you off as well is what I'm getting. Hmm. You know how the, they have those dog whistles or whatever? That's kind of like what I'm hearing. It's like that high pitch. It's like no one can hear it, but, you know. Someone is trying to be... Someone could be watching this and they haven't fully woken up. And someone, spirit, is trying to wake you up. Um, there's awaken, an awakening going on around all over. Spirit's trying to get your attention. There are people trying to affect your calmness. Okay, so... With the, the Four of Swords with this card here, if you're relaxed and chilling, you know, you're calm, someone is trying to betray you or throw swords at you to affect you. That's what these karmics are doing. They're trying to get you out of your peaceful energy, and they're trying to keep it hidden that they're the ones that are doing it, but intuitively you know. These people don't have intuition, so they don't understand how intuition works, apparently, because something is dead. It's over with the Death card. Something is coming to an end. This Ten of Cups in reverse. Someone was not your Ten of Cups. This is somebody who you could have been in a relationship with that is still trying to affect your peace and cause an ending for you because they don't want to go through that death and rebirth. It's too painful for them. <clears throat> they don't have the strength and courage to go through the hard work. This is somebody that will use substances to mask their, you know, there's a reason why people have addictions, you know, whether, you know, whatever drug, whatever alcohol, substances, whatever, even sex addiction, it's used to distract yourself from the reality. It's meant to distract yourself from what's going on around you because it's too painful to deal with. Somebody needs to just do the work and heal and they just don't. It's too painful for them. They're not as strong as you and I'm not... I don't mean to call you a weak-ass little bitch, but with the shit you're doing, you are. I'm sorry, but you are. You karmics are weak-ass little bitches because something is too painful for you. But yet, the light workers already healed. They already did their shadow work. And you're still, you're still trying to make them go through shit they already healed from. And it's not working. Somebody has money coming towards them. There's an emperor. Money, money is coming towards you. Finances are traveling towards you. Some sort of swift action is being taken. Someone was trying to keep people in a stalemate. The Two of Swords energy. And they're in despair with the Five of Cups. They're all up in their feelings and their emotions. Because you, you healed. They tried to take everything from you. But you still had your spiritual gifts. And the upright, I look at the Five of Cups as the you're special. They can take your physical shit. But they can't take your spiritual gifts away. No matter what they do. And someone is at a stalemate. Because they took everything from you, but they can't take your God-given gifts away. And they are so pissed off that they cannot steal them from you. 
Someone is rushing in with some sort of truth. This could even be you coming in and speaking some sort of truth, revealing secrets. You're a truth sayer. You're a seer. You're a light worker. I mean, oh my God, you don't even know. You're so tapped in. Your abilities have awakened. You, uh, people are going through ascensions like at a rapid pace right now. It's happening so quickly. And this has someone in despair, the Nine of Swords. Someone can't sleep. Someone is literally like... I'm seeing someone literally rip their hair out just out of frustration because they place themselves under judgment. This karmic is in despair because they place themselves under judgment by some sort of action that they took. Oh, I'm running out of time here. I don't really want to make this a two-parter, so let's do this. So this karmic, their life is a struggle because they wanted your life to be a struggle. They have spiritual karmic debt that they can't repay, um, but they have to. The balance has to be restored. They're, they're unapologetic. They have no shame. They don't feel bad. And that's why they're under judgment. This person could claim to have similar religious beliefs than you, even if they claim to be a light worker, but they work out of dark and they don't have the spiritual gifts. So they really don't. This is someone who is pretending to be a light worker. You know how, you know, if you want to get biblical, they say, let the wheat and the tares grow up together. And, you know, then Jesus will come back and separate them on judgment day. It's judgment day for them. They've lost their spiritual gifts if they ever had them to begin with. Somebody's broke a spiritual contract. This could be a broken contract, a broken marriage. They went broke. They need money. <clears throat> if you had a spiritual contract with this person, it's null and void by the actions that they took towards you. This person is scared. There's going to be a raid, drug bust, or a SWAT team coming in. Um... You're going to get invited somewhere. You need to use your intuition because something is not to your benefit. Someone is trying to set you up for something. So use your intuition because this karmic did legit spell work and used dark magic on you. And this could include putting something in food or drinks. Be careful who you're eating and drinking from. I'm not saying be so paranoid. Um, not everyone is out to poison you or whatever, but just be careful um, because there is a relative that is involved. So be careful. Um, Shit, maybe at Christmas, maybe you need to bring your own food. I don't know. Just be careful. I mentioned that a relative could be involved in something, and that is the case. Somebody does have a sex addiction. Someone moved too quickly. This karmic person is shady as fuck. They lied about being in a relationship with you, whether it's they said that they still are in a relationship with you, or maybe um, they lied about being in one with you altogether. Maybe they said you guys were never together. Maybe they said you're making shit up. Someone has an axe to grind because they put on a dog and pony show and they're fit to be tied because their secrets are exposed. Um, it's being brought to light that this person was putting on a show and they were passionate about this. And Aries could be significant. Aries, Sag, so we're getting heavy fire sign. Yeah, Leo's Aries, Sag, heavy fire sign. Uh, Virgo, something significant about Wednesday. Heavy heavy fire sign in this one i'm just getting that very strongly <clears throat> and then we have the air sign gemini libra and aquarius and then fire sign aries leo sag so definitely air and fire signs heavy on this one So I have long lost love and something in the nick of time in the reverse. So someone is going to come back in and act like they're your long lost love. They didn't get something accomplished in the nick of time, but they're trying to conquer you still. They're still they still have something up their sleeve. They're not getting out of this storm. They're trying to weather through a storm because they couldn't get something done in the nick of time. There's an Aries here. Once again, a fire sign. Birds of a feather flock together. That's part of a group here. They're backed up against the wall. Someone's throwing in the towel. Um, because they're seeing that you're as pure as driven snow and these people are not. So there's someone who's go going to throw in the towel that's working with this group. This person was a fair weather fr friend and they're afraid of the tower that's about to hit them because they do not have the wisdom of the ages. April could be significant and guess what? There's no time like the present. All right, let me pull a few letters here and close this out. Could be person, place, or thing. The letter C could be significant. 
I gotta get off here and go play with my kids. That's why I did back-to-back -back readings here. I... S... See, I start talking about them and they start coughing <laughs> at you. They're like, hurry up, ma! <laughs> e... N... Another I. CSI could be significant. There's some sort of criminal investigation. There's some sort of physical evidence that somebody left behind. And I'm seeing ear, nose, and throat doctor. Even though um, T didn't come out, there's something significant. It could be like in the thyroid, the throat area. Someone could be suffering a lot of drainage, thyroid, um, sinus issues, allergies, A. Hello, guys. I'm almost done. O and S. Someone's saying, so it's not me. Well, we'll see how that works out when it comes back to you. And J, and I'll do two more real quick. I'm already over 31 minutes here. The longer they get, the harder it is to upload. Another N. And last one. And the letter R. So I have two N's. I, U, E, S, O, J. C-S-I-A-N-R, okay? Hope this helps, folks. Have a good day.